Hi everyone, this is going to be a swatch and first impressions video for Burt's Bees new lipsticks. There are 14 shades currently available and you can purchase them in multiple locations. If you are interested in having all of the options available to you consistently, the best place is probably Ulta online and I'll put a link in the description box below. You can also probably find them at your local drugstore, for example at Walgreens, and I think they may also be available through Target. At Ulta, these retail for $8.99 if they're not on sale, so they're around that price range, which will vary just a little bit depending on which store you go to. So as always, I will swatch these on my arm to show you the colors. I will try to include lip swatches also, and I will give you a first impression of the formula. Then once I fully test them out on the lips, I will do a written review, which will be posted online at allurebeauty.com. I will put a link to that review once it goes live in the description box below. All right, I hope that you are subscribed and let's get to looking at and talking more about Burt's Bees new lipsticks. So as I mentioned, there are 14 shades and Burt's Bees says that these are all supposed to be natural tones in vibrant colors. They are made with Moringa oil and red raspberry seed oil and those are known to contain high levels of essential fatty acids to help moisturize the lips and these are apparently 100% natural. Here's shade 500 Nile Nude, shade 501 Blush Basin, 502 Suede Splash, 510 Iced Iris, 511 Magenta Rush, 512 Fuchsia Flood, 515 Tulip Tide, 514 Brimming Berry, 520 Scarlet Soaked, 521 Ruby Ripple, 523 Sunset Cruise, 530 Lily Lake, 531 Juniper Water and 532 Russet River. So the first shade here is 500 Nile Nude and this is a medium nude with a peach tone to it. 501 Blush Basin is a little more of a pinky terracotta nude shade. 502 is Suede Splash. This is another warm toned sort of mauve brick shade. 510 is Iced Iris. This is a light baby pink. 511 is Magenta Rush. This is a soft magenta pink. 512 Fuchsia Flood is a fuchsia pink. And 514 Brimming Berry is a berry toned pink. 515 is Tulip Tide. This is more of a lavender toned pink. Scarlet Soaked is an orange based red. Ruby Ripple. Seems like it might have been more of a berry tone, but this is a pretty true ruby red. 523 Sunset Cruise is a soft peach pink. 530 Lily Lake is a muted dusty medium pink. 531 Juniper Water is a soft deep purple. And 532 is Russet River, which is a deep Eggplant Brown. 
Right, and there are the second set of seven shades from Burt's Bees new lipstick line. All right, so there you have Burt's Bees new lipstick shades. The formula, I have tested one or two of them out already, but from the swatches and the two that I've tested, I can tell you that the formula is very balmy, meaning that it is very moisturizing and there is a lot of slip to the surface. It's not sticky. It is very lightweight and comfortable to wear. The colors, as you probably can tell from swatching, are more sheer. They are buildable, but they're not going to give you an opaque thick layer of pigmentation. And because of the balmy formulation, these are also not that long wearing. So especially if you are eating and drinking, you are going to expect maybe a couple of hours of wear before the color has faded, and then you will want to reapply. You don't get a strong staining effect. They're not smudge resistant or transfer resistant. So if you have tried these out or just from the colors that you see, let me know what you think in the comment section below. I hope that this was helpful to you, and if it was, please give the video a thumbs up. As always, thanks for taking the time to watch, and I'll see you in the next video. This is not the first time that MAC has done this. I don't know if any of you remember the um, collection that was inspired by Juarez. And I'll show you some promotional imagery, very scary promotional imagery from there.